Hello, welcome to the All or Not podcast. Our official sponsors are KR Couriers and Transport Limited. Big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments, and subscribes to the All or Not podcast. Vlogcast. I appreciate all your comments. I was quite overwhelmed with the response really from that video because what I was thinking, you know, for the past three years I've been getting, you know, a sit down interview out every week, my pie, every week without fail, right? And I believe I was trying to, you know, compete with other people who do that for a living, by the way, and get paid for it. I don't get paid nowhere near enough to jump in my car and fly up to Glasgow or London or all over the country. It cost me a fortune. I'd actually lose out. So the little base in Liverpool that I sat down with people, you know, real stories, real lives. You don't have to have a blue tick. You don't need to be known or famous. You know, you, you don't have to have none of that. But it was week after week after week after week. You know, then my missus, you know, she was pregnant and she was on maternity. And she's the backbone of these these podcasts. I'll tell you that now. She does all the editing in the background, the camera shots and that, the audio. See me. Now she's going back to work. You know, she's going to find that a bit of a struggle. She'll still do it and she can crack on with a podcast and get it done within what, an hour or two. Not a problem because she's just got it down to a fine art. But at the same time, it was like. started to become a little bit training and I wasn't enjoying it as much I enjoy you know just having a little share up on on my phone and uploading that not like chatting capers a big one just trying to do the right thing for the right reasons Give a little bit back. You know, like I say in gangster. Start blowing everyone up. Start calling everyone out. Start showing off. Pulling wads of cash out that he haven't got, by the way. Start wearing all the black Versace tops and Gucci glasses. Look the part. But those that do that, they've got something missing, you know, but it's, it's their self-esteem that's on the floor. I've always known that because that's where I was. I was looking for validation from other people. I was a people pleaser. If you were happy, then I was happy. If you didn't like me then, I would want to know why. It doesn't really matter, but we live in a world full of people who wait on others and it's toxic. There's jealousy and envy. I've been there myself. I had a mad hatred for the Spice Girls. I don't know why. I remember, banged up in Stafford and they kept coming on the radio and I was like, just dead jealous and envious of these. These fucking teenagers, these birds who were just smashing life. I don't know what was going on for me, I don't know where it come from. I just hated them. <laughs> it wasn't until years later I found out that it was just, you know, the fact that people were successful in life, you know, and I wasn't. I thought that the world owed me something. I'll tell you the quick story. When I hit rock bottom, it was about. 2002, I'm shaving up bits in a flat in Kensington off Shield Road. With all these drugs on the table, 
got the phone ringing all the time. Punches at the door. I'm using. I'm the own best customer. I was sat off early hours in the morning with all this on the table, all these drugs and money. I was by myself and I was looking at it. And I just broke down sobbing. Just broke down sobbing and couldn't understand why I mean proper tears and snot bubbles and like <laughs> and it was just horrible, it was a horrible feeling. I was I was quite frightened as well. Actually phoned up the drug dealer who gave me the parcel and because he was the only one I knew to speak to and you know I said I don't know what's going on here, but calm down, calm down, what's you know, okay, what's what's happened and I said I don't know, I don't know what's going on. And he's just you know, you'll be alright, just just get yourself a pipe or just roll a bit of bobby, you'll be fine. That was the answer. It never was. It wasn't until years later. I started working on myself and this is where the self-esteem comes and you know the self-worth and the value of life you know, that I realised that was my rock bottom I had everything I wanted on that table all the drugs, the money you know, bears knocking at the door but I had nothing that I needed I just needed to be normal you know to to have a life maybe get a dog and take it for a walk and Wash my car, if he had one, but I never. Get a driver's license, get a bank account. Just the little things that people take for granted. And that's why I enjoy sharing these little uploads. And I think I'll just continue until, you know, I'm back in the hot seat sharing stories with you from people who have been through you know, experiences that we can relate to and I just want to say a big thank you to everyone out there to everyone who supports this channel to everyone who lets on and acknowledges me when they see me these days it means so much to us, it really does I don't take that stuff lightly I don't take it for granted so once again, thank you.